Okay, so this is the technique I use for uh, landmarking for 12 lead ECG. Uh, it's a little different from a method a lot of people use. A lot of people use uh, the uh, sternal notch and then they look for the angle of Louis and go across, but there's a much easier way to do this. Um, so all you do is the, uh, the clavicle uh, rests here and the first rib comes off of the manubrium right below the clavicle, but then it takes a hairpin turn up and around sort of underneath the clavicle. So it's uh, when you um, palpate the first rib, just below, if you take the, uh, the surface of the tips of your fingers and palpate just below the clavicle, the very first rib you're going to straddle is the second rib. And so the space below it is the second intercostal space, and then it'll be the third intercostal space, and the fourth intercostal space is right there. So V1 is going to go right here. It's going to move the hair a little bit and put V1 there. And for V2, uh, we do the same thing, uh, second intercostal space. The nice thing about this method, too, is even if you've got someone who's obese, there's very little fat where the uh, ribs meet the sternum, and uh, so you can always palpate the rib there. Now, if you try to palpate it on yourself, uh, good luck. It's like trying to tickle yourself. It's almost impossible. Uh, so that's two, three, four. Fourth intercostal space right there. And then we're going to put on V4 next because V4, and I know that's out of order, but V4 goes in the fifth intercostal space, uh, midclavicular line. So here's uh, the sternum, here's the tip of the clavicle, the midclavicular line is right about here. So we're going to go down with the fourth space right here, or fifth space rather, fifth intercostal space, space. And then V3 goes right in the middle. between V2 and V4. Right there. And then V4, V5 go in a straight line between, or from, rather, uh, V4. So V5, V6 rather go in a straight line from V4. So V5 goes in a straight line with V4 at the anterior axillary line, so right here, and V6 goes in a straight line with V4 and V5 at the mid-axillary line, so that right here. Perfect. The limb leads I uh, typically put on the wrists and the ankles. Uh, now you can put them up on the shoulder, but I generally try to avoid large muscle mass because you get muscle artifact.